Just in front of me, we've got the MI6 building where James Bond works. Hello, welcome to another video. So today we are in Pimlico, South London. And what we're going to be doing is walking along the uh, stretch of the river from the exit of the river Tyburn all the way to the exit of the River Westbourne uh, which are not too far away from each other which uh, I've only just uh, found out so we're gonna go do that we're gonna have a little look what we find along the way uh, right now we're heading up to Vauxhall Bridge and just in front of me we've got the MI6 building where James Bond works area known as Millbank and uh, Tate Modern Gallery, uh, not Tate Modern, the Tate Gallery is actually on the site of the Millbank Prison which is where the prisoners were held uh, who were being deported down to Australia and uh, just behind here we have a bollard and this is where the, uh, the ships were being anchored to which took them a little bit further down the river over here all the way down to uh, past uh, London Bridge where we had the bigger ships which would then eventually take them out all the way down to Australia. A lot of people walk past it all the time, no idea what it is. Very important piece of history. And also as well, all under the ground here, there's lots and lots of tunnels still to this day, uh, with all the original cells where the prisoners were held. And uh, in that pub just over there, you can actually go in the basement, if you ask very nicely, obviously not during COVID times, and you can actually still see the cells and the tunnel that led from the prison all the way down here to the ships. That all happened around 1816. 1890, kind of stopped, fizzled out. And then around the turn of the century, 1899 uh, to 1900, a man by the name of Henry Tate bought the building and the complex. He then turned it into the uh, gallery. And uh, Henry Tate being the guy from Tate and Lyle, you know, the sugar guys, that was him. Anyway, let's carry on. carry on uh, along the river here and um, we'll be heading away from the Vauxhall Bridge. If anybody has actually seen the movie Get Into the Greek with Russell Brand, in the movie his apartment is in one of these buildings along here. Now, I'm not sure which one however I feel like I've narrowed it down to one of this one in this building over here. I'm not sure but that's where I think. So at this point in the video, I would ask you please to uh, subscribe, also like the video. Hello. Uh, like the video for me, uh, but more importantly, subscribe because I am trying to get my subscribers up to uh, a thousand so I can start doing some live videos and tours for you around London coming up in the summertime. So if you could like it, share it, tweet it, retweet, but most importantly, subscribe that would be a big blessing. So please do that.
fact for you, which is worth knowing, Bram Stoker, who wrote Dracula, actually lived here in the Pimlico area as well, among many, many others. Walking square behind me there, many politicians have lived, as well as uh, famous people. One thing I am noticing as well, there are uh, a lot of what, be cons what would be considered council flats back in the day. And if you would have snapped one of these up, you'd be sitting on a pretty penny right now. This would be a view right over here, Battersea Power Station. Where incidentally, not many people know this, Superman 3, Christopher Reeve, Richard Pryor, that's where they filmed it, inside there. And uh, that's where the Superman crushed the piece of coal and it went into a diamond. So Battersea Power Station as well is now being refurbished into like a commercial hub. There's going to be lots of restaurants and uh, activity centres all going to be uh, put in there. Just over here as well is the uh, railway bridge. You can just see the train going over there. This is the bridge that the Gatwick Express goes across. So if you're coming into London and uh, you're taking the Gatwick Express in or out of London, this is the bridge you'll come into or go out on. Also as well, the other side of the bridge is where you're going to find Battersea Dogs and Cats Home, which is quite a famous thing here in uh, England as well. There we go, just down there, that big, uh, what is a building site on the river, is the end of our route. Into there flows the uh, River Westbourne. That's where we're going to head to right now. So this bridge is the uh, Chelsea Bridge. On a night time, it is beautiful. All these light bulbs up here, all lit up. And it is a beautiful, beautiful bridge to come have a look at. It really, really is. Also, with it being a suspension bridge, you can feel every movement on the bridge itself, which is uh, interesting. Alright then folks, so we have made it, here we are, this is the end of our route for today and uh, this is the Chelsea Hospital where the Chelsea pensioners live, just over here and this is the Ramley Gardens, built and designed by Christopher Wren and um, the River Westbourne actually flows into the ground here and this is where it comes out. Now if you did watch the other video of the Golders Hill Park, we saw the start of the River Westbourne right at the top of London and this is where it comes out right here, it comes out over here this sewer system over here and the sewer system is uh, it's going to be a brand new super sewer for uh, super sewer for London which is going to flow 25 kilometers under the river and it's going to go from west to east and it's going to help with the uh, sewage pollution in uh, London as well right then folks there we go that brings us to the end of our walk we've got from the uh, river Tyburn to the river Westbourne down by here on the banks of the river Thames uh, I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, tweet, retweet, get it out there. I am trying to get up to 1,000 subscribers on YouTube so I can actually do live tours. Uh, so if you can help me out, hit the subscribe button and uh, do me a favour.